Hello, I am Kristen Todd. Today we will be exploring Boom Card Decks. It is a digital tool that can be used to differentiate learning for your students during stations. Here's how to get started with Boom Cards. First, create a free account or a paid account. Once you have created your account, you can search for free or paid decks. You can also create your own decks. To get started, first, once you've logged in to your account, you're going to go to the Studio option on the right hand corner. Scroll down to Make Decks. Now, prior to making my decks, I upload all of my images that I want to use in a folder on my desktop. Then I do New Deck. And so if you want to all your cards in the deck to have the same background, you will start with your template card. I do not want all my cards to have the same background, so I'm going to start with the first card. So then I'm going to drag an image over. And in my images, I am going to start with this one that I already have pre-done. And it says which one has the short A sound. So I'm going to drag over another image, a picture of a cat. And then another image, picture of lips. I'm going to resize it a little bit. Now, the cat is the correct answer. So on the right-hand side where it says answer options, I'm going to choose correct. And then click on lip for this one. I'm going to choose wrong. And then that's that card. Now, I want to add another card. So I'm going to add card. Drag the image over. This time, I'm going to use this one. And this one says choose the correct vowel sound. So I'm going to bring over some more images and I'm going to put a picture of a pot. Now I'm going to put in the letters that I have pre-saved. I could also type them in if I wanted to, but I want to use some that I already have. So I'm going to make it smaller real quick for us. And I'm only going to put a couple letters on here this time. So there's the A, that's the wrong answer. So I'm going to choose wrong. I'm going to drag over another one, and this time I'm going to choose the O. I'm going to make it smaller. And it's the correct answer, so I'm going to choose correct. Then if I want to preview how it will look for my students, I'll choose the preview. They'll choose, oh, they chose A. It's wrong. Then they can choose O. And then it takes it to the next one. Oh, lip is wrong. Then they choose the next one. Once you're done, to save yours, if you go down to the bottom where it says Untitled Deck, if you click on it, at the top, I'm going to title this Short Files. I can also add that it's for first grade. I can randomize the cards, or I can make them go in a certain order. And then I can make it publish to my, just my account, or if I want to publish it to the store. I want just my account, so I'm going to private publish it. And then I'm going to exit out. So then when I go back, it shows up in my account. And that's how you do that. And I can always go in and add more or if I want to. So again, to assign these to your students, you will then choose library. And then you have your purchased on the left-hand side, the ones that you have found on your own, are self-published. Since this is a self-published one, it goes here. If you choose action, assign, and I'm going to assign it to my students. And then it automatically shows up for them. So again, this is how you can use Boom Cards to help differentiate instruction during stations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other resources.